Okay, let's go through it. So just as a disclaimer, I spent 31 years in the church. I grew up in the church. I went to seminary all four years. I went to BYU, Idaho, got my bachelor's degree. I served a mission in Salt Lake and I got married in the temple. Like I was gospel doctor and teacher. I did all the stuff. So like, yeah. So these are the manuals and church books that I do have about this topic. These are the ones most recently published. Just to point out that I was not raised with these books. So here's the Book of Mormon Family Reader produced by the church. Oh, look, right there. No stone in a hat. Also, Gift and Power of God, no stone in a hat. Great picture, though. Book of Mormon Reader produced by the church. No stone in a hat. More current Book of Mormon Reader produced by the church. Again, no stone in the hat. Urim and Thummim. Doctrine and Covenants Story Reader, produced by the church. Again, no stone in a hat. Only talks about the Urim and Thummim. I got this one from Seminary, also produced by the church. This would have been a great place to put the picture of the stone in a hat. Old Gospel Principles book, produced by the church. Through the Gift and Power of God, no mention of the stone in a hat. Old Blue Book of Mormon. Translated through the gift and power of God, no stone in a hat. Mormon Doctrine by Bruce R. McConkie. Translated by the Urim and Thummim, no stone in a hat. These are my BYU-Idaho booklets, all produced by the church. No stone in a hat. Book of Mormon Student Manual, produced by the church. No stone in a hat. Details not fully yet known. Doctrine and Covenants, produced by the church. Doesn't say anything about the translation. Wait, this is from the Book of Mormon one, and I forgot to show you this picture that it shows. Look, translation, no stone in a hat. This is from Preach My Gospel, that same picture of them translating. We never taught anything about the stone in a hat. I should have pulled out my restoration booklet that we give to investigators, and it doesn't say anything about the stone in a hat. Just says he translated by the gift and power of God. This is that My Heritage book produced by the church. Again, Urim and Thummim. No stone in a hat. Surely the history of the church has the stone in the hat, right? Like it's gotta have something. Okay, breastplate, Urim and Thummim. Urim and Thummim again. More Urim and Thummim. The angel literally taking it, so this is not the stone in the hat. Again, not the stone in the hat. The only reference to any seer stone is from Hiram Page. Isn't that crazy? He just whitewashed the whole church history. This is also a great story, by the way. It makes the witnesses seem a little bit unreliable, in my opinion. But yeah, so where the heck, where'd it go? So again, these are all the manuals that I just went through, the things I grew up with. No mention of the stone in the hat. These ones are more recent, the Come Follow Me manuals, which it does talk about the stone in a hat. That's super great. More transparency in the church. The Sunday school one is not as nice. There's no mention of the stone in a hat and none of these sources talk about the stone in a hat at all. I'm not exactly sure why they wouldn't say it and the other one does, like where is it? And the Saints book volume one, it does talk about the stone in a hat. So, there you go, transparency. So of all these manuals, only two of them talk about it. So even though the information was out there that he translated the Book of Mormon through a stone and a hat, that wasn't anywhere that I would have come across it. So I'm also aware that the church likes to blame artists. And yes, artists are responsible to some degree, but I think the church also commissions them to do certain art depictions of artwork. And these books are not all art. In fact, I think I mostly just showed you words, which comes from the church. So I don't think that's a very good excuse either. So, so yeah, um, congratulations on your teachers teaching you actual church history. But I think the majority of us did not learn about the rock in the hat. Also, Shane, does this count as a the church has always taught this?